Content. We rejoin the action. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't hear the quotation marks. <laughs> we'll have to work on this script. We rejoin the action sometime later. So what's changed since whenever the last cut was? <laughs> uh, we're at war with the Beastmen, who are down here destroying Carcassonne. I joined the war to honor our alliance, but obviously we don't actually care. Now and they will join my confederation. I don't know yes. why. They're actually stronger than me. If anything, I should join their confederation. But, you know, I wonder, can I get money off them? Can I actually get them to pay me for this service? A little bit. I'll take a little bit of money. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. So Paravon no longer exists. We get their territory. Oh, God. Oh, what was that? It just popped past. Um, we, <laughs> what were Paravon doing? Look at that. They've destroyed our finances. No. Oh, because it's because of this stuff. Oh, and this. Look at that. They have way too many peasants. Our armies are now too big. We need to get rid of Paravon's army. I was about to say, let's go and like just just disband it to get rid of it. But of course, I just realized we could get rid of it in a much more productive fashion. We can just rush Paravon's army in to just do some damage to the enemy, can't we? Let's just rush them in here. Can they besiege this? They can besiege. No, they can't besiege it. Just rush out there. Volgavan, what are you doing? Whoa, what was that? Okay, this army somehow managed to find it. And look at that balance bar. That's insane. What is this balance bar? How powerful are the Wood Elves? Are they, do we have no chance against them? Look at this balance bar. We have a full army. Men at arms, pole arms are the one below the best infantry unit that we can field. And we got loads of those. <laughs> I guess maybe mounted yeomen count for nothing? God damn it. Uh, chapter 10. Broken suitcases. To guard yourself against thieves who slash open suitcases, rifle through bags and smash open boxes, one should strap the bags and lock them. The world at large knows that this shows wisdom. However, when a master thief comes, he simply picks up the suitcase, lifts the bag, carries off the box and runs away with them, his only concern being whether the straps and locks will hold. In such an instance, what seemed like wisdom on the part of the owner surely turns out to have been only to have use, only to have use, to the master thief. Very interesting. I will try to explain what I am saying, but oh god, the, the loading bar is almost at maximum already. We don't have time for his explanation. This is quite incredible. <laughs> this is revolutionary. <laughs> so what we're going to do in this fight is have our archers... Oh, look at that nice tail. Have our archers do battle with the Wood Elf archers and uh, see how well that goes. <laughs> and uh, we'll charge all of our cavalry. Right, human archers, I need you to... <laughs> yeah, do this. <laughs> just run around. Just absorb some arrows. We're just going to just, like, dance around with these human archers. Oh, my God. Let's see how much of the enemy's ammunition we can waste with these human archers. We can't do any sort of loose formation, of course, so uh, we can't really uh, give ourselves any defense against this. Yes, yes. Keep dodging. Give me time to get into position. The enemy are actually charging up the hill, so my plan here isn't going to work. Anyway... <laughs> Look at this. This is an absolute disaster. Look at this. Look how many units are firing at them. Oh my god, <laughs> this is terrible. And they sent all their melee units after my cav. That wasn't what I expected and actually ruins my plan because I wanted their melee units to fight with my melee units. Oh, there we go, it's happening a little bit now. I have to just get out of the way there. That sucks. Oh, it's still really micro heavy even with just a few cavalry because of how fast the battles go. I used to have a mod, it was called something like Proper Combat Mod, which made combat much slower, so everyone died really slowly. And I loved that, like, to me that made the game playable from unplayable as it is now, because... Just because you could do tactics, like, you could do things <laughs> with the time that bought you. Like, oh, see, that unit's dead, we can't do anything with it, because it'll just die if we retreat. We'll try and get around by the back here. What's going... what's even going on out there? What is that? Oh, some of those <laughs> crazies are chasing after us. Keep running away, it's all going fine. So yeah, we're getting absolutely wrecked. And anyway, that mod was very good. It allowed you to do things like rear attacks, like establish battle lines and do rear attacks and stuff. I think just fighting the Wood Elves is annoying because they're a faction that specializes in troll tactics and the AI can sort of target each individual unit onto something quite well. Uh, I was going to say quit, but actually, no, actually, it doesn't matter. Quit, just, just, oh, almost quit to windows. Just forget it. Just forget it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to do any damage. If you're not going to kill an entire unit in the enemy's army, there's no point actually trying, because they regenerate the troops, of course. So you have to wipe out everything, or you've wasted your time. And I think I might have wasted my time there. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that loading screen? Normally it's literally three minutes to get out of a battle. Is this my lucky day? That was insane. We didn't lose enough troops. Hopefully they'll attack it again and finish it off. <laughs> we need to lose more peasants. Please, Torgavan! No, Torgavan, no! My peasants, look at all the money we're losing. 
Oh no, the beastmen are raising Carcassonne. Should I save them? Am I supposed to be saving them? Oh, what's this? You got to sally out. Uh, I refuse. I refuse to fight. I'll give it a go. <laughs> wow. You actually did quite well, considering this is one guy against this massive army with all these archers. You would just been hit by 500 billion arrows, and he somehow killed two enemies. <laughs> I don't know how you did that, you bastard. You didn't even die. That's outrageous. Now oh, they actually sent their army to come and besiege the castle. I wonder what our garrison is. Not very much. Fuck, it's not very much. We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble. All right. Never mind. Uh, so hopefully they'll try a siege assault. Does this place actually have walls? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have walls because I only just started building them. Oh, <laughs> yes. The Wood Elves want peace and they'll pay me for it. <laughs> you fools! You fools! I was on the verge of defeat. <laughs> yes, yes. Although there's there's three separate Wood Elves factions. Oh my god! I forgot about that guy. I forgot to move him. Oh, he's in big trouble. It's the giant tree creature. Oh god! <laughs> Not again! Not again! Uh, can you can you get out of there? You can still survive it, don't worry. Just make them chase you around. Oh, they didn't even kill him. Oh, look at that! Britonia are conquering Empire territory up there. Can you come and help me, Britonia? I can actually ask them to come and declare war on, like, all these uh, people. Oh, Britonia Confederated Leoness! You fucking cocks, I was gonna do that. Get out! I'll ban on someone while we're here. Get out! Execute the captives, get the ship, and get the money. That's nice, that's nice. So half the Beastmen force is down. Surely Carcassonne is saved now. So let's go and save ourselves with our main force. We've got the blessing of the lady. Someone's trying to kill us. I'm not sure who it is. Who is it? Who's trying to assassinate us? Why don't we actually look at it? Oh, this guy, of course. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting? They're trying to kill him, but they can't. They just can't bring old Cassion down. He's just hiding out there. He's invincible. Can we make him raid? Is there a raiding song? Oh my god, oh you lose chivalry. <laughs> I can have this one guy going around cutting down trees, killing wood elves, yes! <laughs> Makes you immune to attrition as well, but I'll be losing my sweet, sweet chivalry if you don't want. This is quite amazing. Uh, and they, <laughs> they can't stop him because their army's over there. That's what they're trying to assassinate him. Just keep going, Cassion. You're just gonna chill out there. Make a base, yeah, build a fort on your own. He's put a few sticks over himself. He's gonna lie under like a, a bent over tree with a few leaves under himself. That's his little camp. He'll survive forever. He will never die. Now, hopefully that there's seven turns left on that siege. They don't seem to be interested in attacking. So we'll come over with the main force and uh, try and stop them. And hopefully the beast men who appear to have disappeared will, will now fail to attack Carcassonne. Oh, what's this? Aha! Aha! I can build the blessed field trebuchet once I construct this. <laughs> my, my plan is to build an army composition that actually requires no micro. I'm going for the opposite of the all calf thing I was thinking earlier. Where I'm going to build like a semicircle of like regular just trash peasants to absorb things. I have another semicircle behind it of um, peasant archers. And in the middle have trebuchets and the thing that blesses your troops. So we can just sit there and just sort of fire out in all directions and take things like Dorvan style. Anyway, right. Carry on. Wait, wait, they disappeared. Where did they go? What are they doing there? Who's this? Who's that? Who was that guy running around just there? Do you see that? Do you see that? There's a little guy running about in the forest. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, assassinate success. Who are we killing? No! <laughs> they killed Cassion. <laughs> he was invincible. I refuse. <laughs> Dotan <laughs> found his little hiding place under a log. <laughs> in a whispers of witchcraft, panic has gripped the peasantry as rumors of curse hurling child snatching witch in local villages. So we can either. What? Burn the witch, but it's called burned fields. <laughs> the w <laughs> wait, what? So we're like, burn the witch, and started just shooting flaming arrows everywhere, setting fire to every building. <laughs> Do we know where the witch is? No? Probably, probably somewhere out there in the countryside. But <laughs> destroy the entire countryside. Yes, yes, maybe she'll die as collateral damage. Or we can just say peasants. What the fuck are you talking about? Minus 25% campaign movement range for 10 turns. What sucks? So basically... If we ignore it, this witch is going to sap all our peasants' energy. Or we can burn all of our food, which stops us replenishing true Oh, yeah, burn, burn everything. Burn everything. <laughs> How could I forget? It's a chivalrous way. Burn everything. Right. All right, here's the plan. I'm going to try and use a plan here. This army will come and encamp right here. So, and this army will set up an ambush. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, blah, blah, blah. Lose two chivalry per turn setting up an ambush. It's better work the first turn then. So we might be able to ambush this stack as it comes out thinking, oh look, a nice weak Bretonian army to kill. That's our plan. Apart from that, I think the only other way we could possibly do it is to try and call on other factions to come with us. Like we did with Musulon, <laughs> where someone else has to sacrifice themselves to do most of the work. 
possible, but a little bit clunky, and I can't really be bothered. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Oh, whoa, 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 they disappeared. Did they just confederate into the normal High Elves? Did you? <laughs> no. Yeah, they confederated into the High... into the Wood Elves. Not High Elves. You fucking bastards. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> bastards. Bastan, just join my Welcome faction. I can't be bothered. Yeah, you will. Okay, <laughs> don't got me either. Right, <laughs> never mind. Blah, 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 blah. And now we have too many troops again. We're in. So, yes, yeah, because they have a full stack. We can't have it. Oh, they have some actual good units in here. Do you have the relevant buildings? Yeah, they have the relevant buildings to build uh, the proper infantry units. That's interesting. That's useful. Do you know but uh, we'll have to get rid of this army because we can't maintain it. We seem to have less money now. Like, we have less income after we confederated them. I don't get it. Does it cost us money here? I mean, we're fine with the peasant. We're fine with that. There's no army there. Are these, like, is there something with negative income here? I don't see anything. Why are we losing all our money? Oh, is it because we're no longer trading with them? Like, because you absorb them in, you're not trading with them, and this game doesn't have an internal trade system, so you're, you don't get trade based on how many of your own settlements can be involved in the trade. It's just faction to faction, like, abstractly. So the fewer factions there are, the fewer money you make from trade, less money you make from trade. So, yeah, we fucked ourselves over. We shouldn't have confederated with them. Absolute disaster. <laughs> Oh no, the Wood Elves declared war on Bretonia. Yeah, I probably should join it, shouldn't I? I just don't want to. Let's just join the war and not participate. Oh my fucking god, look at that! There's loads of them right there! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Gargasson, you got that with your army of absolute trash? You got that right. You can take on all these guys. No. No, you can't. Bretonia, why did you just draw all of our fucking kingdom into War of the Wood Elves? I didn't do it. I was respectful when I was doing my flippant, pointless wars for entertainment purposes. I didn't call my allies in, at least. I had some respect for the stability of the realm. Look at their movement range. It's much higher than ours. Why is your movement range so high? No, they can reach Brion, so I can't quickly go and um, do Brion without being at risk of actually being attacked by these guys. Oh, they won't. They're going after Carcassonne. They wouldn't dare, would they? They wouldn't dare. Oh, I've actually run too far. These armies can't reinforce each other. Oh, well, uh, they wouldn't dare, would they? They wouldn't dare, would they? Keep it going. They wouldn't dare, would they? Just keep saying it. They wouldn't dare, would they? They wouldn't dare, would they? They wouldn't dare, would they? No! They wouldn't dare, would they? They wouldn't dare, would they? They wouldn't dare, would they? You... Look at that bonus What is this? What about Carcassonne? <laughs> Why do you care? Carcassonne was right there. How can you even see me? <laughs> you can't. You can't do this to me. Uh, retreat. Now you better run out of movement points. No, no, that guy over there. Uh, please get away. Come on, we can get away with this. Come on. No. Yes, we got away with it. We saved Carcassonne by distracting the enemy. And royally fucked ourselves over. Oh my god. Enabler, yes, good, good, good. Right. Operation Runaway. We <laughs> didn't even have one pixel on the balance part. What is this? Why are our forces so trash? We've got some of our money back now, apparently. That's good. We're making a thousand more a turn than we were last turn. I don't, I don't even know what the difference is, to be honest. I literally don't know what's going on at this point. Uh, hey, Bretonia, are you going to bring like loads of stacks down to fight the Wood Elves or something? Because uh, cause we ain't got shit. Even my full stack didn't get a pixel on the balance bar. <laughs> Please, Bretonia. They're chasing this guy. Yes, run into Paravon. Canals, I'm sorry. <laughs> You are going to be sacrificed. What's their garrison? Oh, it's like, <laughs> they've got like five peasant units. Oh my god, Canel, you're so screwed. It's incredible. Carcassonne still standing strong. <laughs> That's what you get, Carcassonne. I saved you. You owe me one. So I'm taking the other part of your territory. Right. Of course, that means we now have no troops in our army because they have to do the colonized thing. And the settlement has no defenses. So if they actually get attacked, we'll be screwed. Let's just see if they get attacked. Let's see if we get screwed. One second. I'm interested. What are you going to do, Wood Elves? Looks like I'm expanding my territory. You must be awfully intimidated by this. You're just doing nothing. They've just put... They've, like, built a little base there in the centre of our territory. 
just, I guess, to stop us from walking past, or maybe the AI has just given up. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. Oops. Oh, I got the, I got the thing. Hey, Carcassonne. You want to join my faction? They actually do. So the question here is, should we even let them? Let's see, we make a hundred a turn in trade off them. Surely we can make more than a hundred off this territory. Yeah, get in here, get in here. Right, get in here, you bastards. Minus 2,500! We just can't have another army. We're just doomed not to be allowed another army. Even now we have all this territory. We can only have one army. Where's our income? Zero. It actually genuinely just does make zero. Like, we are taxing it. This, this is weird. It's like the main the main building chain doesn't give you any income, which it usually does, just to represent like you're taxing the population of the town to give you some income, but just the actual town itself doesn't give you anything for return yet. So they've got all this stuff, which is all well and good. They can build the nice units. They've basically got almost the exact same build setup as I have in, in uh, Board Low. But yeah, it doesn't make any money. So we can't afford to have an army to defend it, basically. <laughs> Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>